Hola, I'm Pablo Stanley, co-founder at Blush, and I want to tell you about a really cool tool we just built called Doodle Ipsum. Doodle Ipsum is the lorem ipsum of illustrations. Doodle Ipsum allows you to add artwork to your website, to your landing page, to your web app, to your prototype, to your mock-up, whatever, with just a simple piece of code. So let me show you how it works. You come to doodlelipsum.com, and then here you can see a preview of the image that you're going to get and you can change the style of it. Maybe you want it in flat illustration style and you just keep clicking until you find an illustration that you like. You can also do hand-drawn or outline or even avatars. And you have avatars in different styles too. Let's try the flat one. Um, I really like that one. And then here you can change the proportions of the image. By default, it's just auto, so it will adjust to the container. But if you want to, you can also say, hey, I want it to be square. I want it to be horizontal. I want it to be vertical and so on. You can also set your own size in case you want it at a specific size. For this demo, let's just keep it on auto. And then here you can also change the color of the background. By default, it's just transparent. So it's just a PNG that has transparent background. But if you want to, you can also add a background color to it. So you can just keep clicking random until you find one. Or if you want to, you can also just input your own background. So if you want it, for example, black, you can just like put a black color and then you will get a black color. But let's keep it transparent for this demo. And once you're ready, you get a piece of code. So this piece of code, you can just copy it and then paste it on your side, whatever, and then we'll just load. It will load this image. And if you want another image, you can just keep shuffling here and it will just give you another image on that style. Also, if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see more advanced features and other instructions on how you can customize this image. You can customize the dimensions by actually writing it in the piece of code. You can say a static image that you want, also uh, specify a category, or even we have a demo of how you can use it for, for example, multiple image, a grid like this. And also some advanced features. So if you want to add your own background color, you here you have a demo of how you can add your own hex code. Also, if you want, to add a circle to it, you can do this and you can also add a grayscale and even blur. I don't know if you want that, but if you want it, you can add this. So now let's demo how it will work on a page. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to actually go to Product Hunt's block and I'm going to change this specific image. And I'm going to here just go to the source code because I'm a hacker and I'm just going to paste the, the code that I got. I preview it there, there you go, and it has the image. I can go over here and I want to try a different image. Just going to shuffle. I like that one. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go over here again. You know what? I'm going to change the source to this image. And there you go. There you have it. So really quickly, you can just grab an illustration that you could use on your landing page or your blog, whatever. Now, let's see how would work this on a no-code tool like Webflow. So let's say that I have here and I want to add an image to the hero and I want to add some images down here to these cards. So I can go back here and you know what? I'm going to copy this same image, but instead of getting just the URL, I want to get the embed code. So over here, just click on the embed code and here you have the option to include the artist attribution if you want it. If you don't want to, you can just check it off, uh, but let's include it on this demo. Let's copy this and let's go over here to Webflow. And then here on Webflow, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to actually add an embed. So I got an embed, I can just paste the code save and close, and there you go. The image is here. And you can see that the attribution is there too. If you don't want that, you can come back over here, just remove that, copy the code again, go over here, double click, and then change the code, paste it, again, save and close, the in the attribution is gone. Let's do the same right here, just for demo purposes. Let's do it again, let's shuffle this image. You know what, I like that one, let's copy that one, and let's go over here, and again, embed, and let's paste that image, and there you have it. Now, I can do the same with all of this. I'm just going to copy this, paste all of these images here, and you can just like come in here and change the code, and you will get different images. So really useful, really quick to use, and I hope this is helpful for your prototypes, your mock-ups, your landing pages, whatever you build. Thank you so much.